Here is my disclaimer. The following information was obtained from historical records, eyewitness accounts, other information sources and including my own opinion. Since I was not always there at the time to verify it, it may or may not be correct. When I see the sports cars of the Gasser, modified and altered classes they look like life-size Hot Wheels cars you had as a kid, the small lightweight bodies with big tires and wheels is still a look that is popular today. When it came to researching these cars there is a lot of conflicting and missing information so I did the best I could to try to sort it out. So here are a few of the sports cars from the early altered, modified, FX, XS and Gasser era. Here is Little John owned by Rusty Delling from Torrance, California. The 1957 Chevrolet Corvette by Don LaRoche was powered by a supercharged 364 Chevrolet by CNO Hydro with an automatic transmission. In 1968 at Lyons it ran a 928 at 159 miles per hour on alcohol. Here is the troublemaker, the Coleman and Taylor automatic transmissions car was owned by Joe Lunati from Memphis, Tennessee. It ran an injected gas Chevrolet engine. On July 26, 1964 at Muncie Dragway, it ran a 1091 at 124 miles per hour. This is a great picture showing Joe Lunati racing Ohio George Montgomery. This is the Ida Automotive car also known as Hemi Healy, owned by Bob Ida from Morganville, New Jersey. The 1956 Austin Healy by Bob Ida was powered by a supercharged gas 354 Chrysler Hemi with a manual transmission. In 1969 it ran a 921. I saw where the car has since been restored to its original look. Here is the Yenter Racing car owned by Art and Carol Yenter from Tigard, Oregon. The 1962 Chevrolet Corvette was powered by a supercharged gas Chevrolet with a three-speed manual transmission. Art drove the car but his wife Carol took over the driving duties in 1968. Carol went on to drive funny cars. This is the instant motion fiberglass Trans Cheetah, owned by Marv Eldridge from Gardena, California. This Cheetah body reproduction was built by fiberglass Trans. The AMSP national record holder was powered by a near-stock Dodge 426 Ramcharger wedge engine. In 1965 it ran a 107 at 133 miles per hour. I read they weighed 1,750 pounds when powered by a small block Chevy. If you can build a full-bodied street car that weighs less than 2,000 pounds, you must be doing something right. Here is the Coyote Duster, there is not a lot of information on this Kellison bodied car but it was powered by an injected gas Chevrolet with an automatic transmission. Here is the CNO Hydro Fiberglass Trends Hi-Ho Silver owned by Rusty Delling from Torrance, California. The car by Don LaRoche and powered by a supercharged gas 364 1963 Chevrolet by CNO Hydro with an automatic transmission. In 1966 at Lyons it ran a 990 at 142 miles per hour. Here is the Chi-Town Guzzler, owned by the Olander brothers from Chicago, Illinois. It is a 1958 Chevrolet Corvette powered by a supercharged gas 440 Chevrolet with an automatic transmission. With that altered wheelbase, it ran in AA gas. This is GT Shaker, the 1966 Cheetah Fiberglass Trends body was purchased by Neil Papiellis, he then mounted it on a loggy chassis, with limited success with the flip-top Cheetah led Ellis to change bodies. He later sold the body to Dave Scherer in 1970. This sport class car was owned by L.C. Kirby Jr. from Irving, Texas. The Allard was powered by a gas Cadillac with a four-speed manual transmission. It ran 120 miles per hour at Forest Hills Drag Strip in Fort Worth, Texas on July 27, 1958. This 1967 Special by Lou Abel is powered by a supercharged gas 392 Chrysler Hemi with an automatic transmission. It won the AA MSP class at the 1967 NHRA Nationals at Indy running a 9-4 at 156 miles per hour. 
Here is the Jardine Headers car owned by Mel Mars and Phil Lukens from Duarte, California. The 1963 Chevrolet Corvette was powered by a supercharged gas 354 Chrysler Hemi with a two-speed manual transmission. It won the Sea Gas class at the Pomona NHRA Winter Nationals in February 1970 running at 1024 at 135 miles per hour. This is Super Cheetah owned by Dave Scherer. He purchased the body from Neil Pappy Ellis and ordered a Loggy Brothers chassis. It was powered by an injected GM engine. The car has since been restored to this original look. I don't have a lot of history on the following three Corvettes but I really like the paint on these cars. I do understand everyone wants their car to look good but when you put show car paint on a drag car it's probably not going to be nice for long. Look at the body and paint work that went into this Corvette. Shaved door handles, custom rear quarter panels, rear deck vents, not to mention the paint itself, it's almost too nice to be in the staging lanes. If anyone knows where these cars are at now please comment below. This is Assassination owned by Roger Guzman from Denver, Colorado. This 1958 MGA was powered by a supercharged gas Chevrolet with an automatic transmission. In Indianapolis, Indiana on September 4, 1966 it ran a 990 at 141 miles per hour. Here is the City of Industry special owned by Sam Perriott from City of Industry, California. The 1953 Curtis Roadster was powered by a supercharged gas 365 Cadillac by Bill Edwards with a four-speed manual transmission. In Pomona, California, February 1963, it ran an 1169 at 127 miles per hour. This is the Jolly Green Giant 2 owned by Bob Davis from Pittsburgh, California. The 1966 Chevrolet Corvette was powered by a supercharged Nitro 427 Chevrolet with an automatic transmission. Records show in 1968 it ran a 770 at 170 miles per hour. Here is 13 Superstition owned by Norm Cowdery from Canoga Park, California. The 1955 Austin Healey Roadster by Rip Erickson is powered by a supercharged gas 327 Chevrolet by Mike Laporte with an automatic transmission. The front fenders, hood and doors were fiberglass the body was steel. Built for AAMSP but ran as BB altered at some races. On September 18, 1965 at Lyons it ran a 10.04. This is the Red Baron owned by Neil Hinkle from Allentown, Pennsylvania. The 1961 Chevrolet Corvette was powered by an injected gas 283 Chevrolet with a four-speed manual transmission. In 1965 in Vargo, Pennsylvania it ran a 1280 at 109 miles per hour. Here is the DJ 1969 Chevrolet Corvette owned by Dick Weinel from Clevys, Ohio. Dick Winell's career as a racer, engine builder and later as track owner-promoter of the Cincinnati-area Edgewater Raceway made him well-known among Midwestern racers and fans. On September 1, 1973 in Indianapolis it ran a 966 at 142 miles per hour. This is the 1962 Chevrolet Corvette owned by Galen Hill from Bell Gardens, California. It was powered by an injected Nitro 370 Chevrolet. At Lyons in 1966 it ran a 942 at 141 miles per hour. This is Mongoose owned by Peter Rend from St. Petersburg, Florida. The 1963 Chevrolet Corvette was powered by an injected gas 426 Dodge Hemi with an automatic transmission. In February of 1966 in Pomona, California it ran a 1076. Aaron's Mongoose won Best Engineered Car at the 1965 Nationals. I read in 1968 the Mongoose was auctioned at a public television charity in St. Petersburg. Here is the Tonka Toy Auburn Auto Parts owned by Franklin Jones from Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. The 1966 Chevrolet Corvette was powered by a carbureted gas 327 Chevrolet with a four-speed manual transmission. In 1966 at Epping, New Hampshire it ran a 12.005 at 114 miles per hour. Here is Vicious Vet owned by Charlie Wilson from Van Nuys, California. 
As to the engine on this car, records are somewhat conflicting but the Chevrolet Corvette was powered by a supercharged Nitro 392 Chrysler Hemi with a 3-speed manual transmission. At Irwindale in 1967 for the New Year's Funny Car Race he qualified number 4 with an 877 at 166 miles per hour in the 8-car field. This is Super Jag owned by Vern Motes from Des Moines, Iowa. The 1968 Jaguar XKE was powered by an injected gas Chevrolet with an automatic transmission. In 1969 it ran a 997 at 140 miles per hour. Vern Motes lived not far from where I grew up, I didn't know him but everyone knew his name when it came to drag racing. Here is the Aikens and Hardcastle Stinger 2 owned by Roger Hardcastle and Pat Aikens from Riverside, California. The Kellison Astra 300 GTX was powered by a supercharged 392 1958 Chrysler Hemi. In 1966 at Irwindale, California it ran a 832 at 192 miles per hour. This 1962 Chevrolet Corvette is owned by Don Gist from Lake Worth, Florida. It is powered by a carbureted gas 327 Chevrolet with a 4-speed manual transmission. Gist set the NHRA ASP class record at Denver in July 1962. Here is the drag sporter owned by Lee Hollerberg from Costa Mesa, California. The car by Woody Gilmore was powered by a supercharged gas big block Chevrolet by Bones Ballow with a 4-speed manual transmission. The body was by fiberglass trends. In 1966 at Irwindale, California it ran a 995. This is the Corvette Auto Parts 1965 Chevrolet Corvette owned by Don Kirby from Long Beach, California. There is a lot of conflicting information on the engine and fuel of the car but in 1965 it was powered by a supercharged Nitro 327 Chevrolet with direct drive. At Lyons on November 13, 1965 it ran a 927 at 161 miles per hour. Here is the Bill's Speed Shop 1957 Thunderbird owned by Bill Kuhn from Plymouth, Michigan. It was powered by an injected 427 SOHC Ford engine. This is the Matney Brothers car owned by Gordon and Gary Matney from Gold Grove, Ohio. In 1967 it ran a 910 at 159 miles per hour in Tulsa, Oklahoma. By the looks of this car I'm sure it was a fan favorite. Here is the Neil Pappy Ellis car with a loggy chassis. The car was sponsored by Midwest and won the AMSP class at Indy in 1967. This 61 Chevrolet Corvette owned by John Masmanian from Whittier, California was powered by a supercharged gas 283 Chevrolet with a 4-speed manual transmission. In 1962 it ran a 1099 at 130 miles per hour. This is Disturbed owned by Tony Sorelli from Stamford, Connecticut. It appears to be a 1960s Griffith and had a Buick engine. Here is Glenn Rapp's 1956 Corvette, he owns Thunder Valley Dragways where this photo was taken in 1967, as well as Rapp Chevrolet. This is Hayseed, the 1957 Corvette owned by Doug Juanis from Nashua, New Hampshire. The car ran in the degas class. Here is Dean Moon's Devon body car he named Moonbeam. The following information was from a 1961 article from Cars magazine. The body was a modified Devon unit painted moon yellow. All body work was done by OD fellows who made sections easily removable for quick repair and maintenance. Speeds include a 134 miles per hour quarter mile, 157 miles per hour half mile and 169 miles per hour plus at the dry lakes. On the salt at Bonneville, the car has averaged 180 miles per hour and hit a high of 185 miles per hour. Total weight of the Devon body car is 2,000 pounds. On a side note, don't you just hate it when you are trying to take a picture of a car and someone gets in the way? I like that moon's towel though. This is raunchy owned by Jay Gage and Barnes from Lakeside, California. The 1966 Chevrolet Corvette Roadster was powered by a supercharged Nitro Chevrolet with an automatic transmission. In 1968 it ran a 877 at 159 miles per hour. 
This car is owned by Ron Carter from Indianapolis, Indiana. The 1966 Cheetah body was originally produced by Fiberglass Trends and Carter bought it from Dave Scherer. The car was powered by a carbureted gas Chevrolet with a three-speed manual transmission. The car has since been restored back to when Dave Scherer owned it as Super Cheetah. Here is Doug Thorley's The X Corvette with an extended front end, I read where it was originally a Salt Flats car. Speaking of Doug Thorley, when I was 16 years old I had a 1969 Fastback Mustang with a small block, I saw a Doug Thorley header ad in a magazine and ordered a set. Everyone wanted hooker headers back then but I bought these, maybe it was the ad that sold me. I always liked Tigers. This is the Kazanjian and Lemon, owned by Cookie Kazanjian and Tom Lemon from Chino Hills, California. The 1956 Ford Thunderbird was powered by a supercharged gas 427 Chevrolet with a four-speed manual transmission. In 1972 it ran a 957 at 147 miles per hour. I don't know much about this Triumph other than it's a TR4. I looked it up and TR4s were made from 1961 to 1965 and they weighed 2,128 pounds. Just looking at the pictures being a short wheelbase I'm sure it was hard to handle on the track, those slicks are awfully close to the body and it shows 1025 on the windshield so if it did run low tens they definitely needed those wheelie bars when they launched the car. Here is Jim Demet Racing owned by Jim Demet from Concord, California. The 1957 Ford Thunderbird was powered by a gas 427 Ford High Riser by Jim Demet with a four-speed manual transmission. At Fremont, California in 1967 it ran a 1078. Big engines need a lot of air and with that scoop, I'm sure it got everything it needed. I can't seem to find any information on this car, but I really wanted to put it in the video. I wasn't even sure at first if it was some kind of movie car or not. The body has had some work done to it. The suspension has been raised, someone cut into those wheel wells and a gas tank mount on the front looks a little sketchy. The picture here shows it with a blower. By reading your past comments I know there are a lot of knowledgeable people out there, so if you know anything about this car, please comment below. This is the Baldwin Motion Dragon Snake, a street car that was converted to a drag car by Joe Rosen. It was powered by a 289. Here is Prontito, owned by George Faltz and Roger Davenport. I read where the 1957 Corvette ran mid-nines but wasn't able to verify it. This 1962 Corvette was an NHRA record holder in D-Altered. It ran a 1064 at 128 miles per hour. As you can see Mr. Don Chapman was selling the car and willing to take a good street car in the deal. I don't know what he was asking for it but those Halibrand wheels alone are bringing thousands of dollars a set today if you can even find them. Here is the Tijuana Taxi, it started life as a Kellison. The Kellison was offered either as a kit or a completely assembled car with full interior that was priced at $7,600 in 1960, I read very few were sold that way. It came with the $365 starting price for a kit which is why many ended up on the drag strip and at the Bonneville Salt Flats. This is the Barley and Garrity car owned by Bob Barley Jr. and Garrity from Reseda, California. The Devon was powered by a gas Chevrolet with direct drive. In February of 1963 in Pomona, California it ran a 1165 at 120 miles per hour. Here's an MG MGA called Hairbender. There is not a lot of information about this car but it looks like James Gibson from Gibson Automotive built the engine. The MGA was made from 1955 to 1962 and weighed only 1,988 pounds making it a great candidate for a drag car. This is Snow Job owned by Ron Rudnick and Ray Tyson from Wilson, New York. The 1959 Chevrolet Corvette in the altered class was powered by an injected gas Chevrolet engine. On July 13, 1969 at Niagara Falls Dragway it ran an 1134 at 121 miles per hour. This might not be on everyone's list as a sports car but I decided to put it in since it follow the vintage light small foreign car theme of this video. 
I believe this is a highly modified 1965 or 66 Honda S600 coupe. It is called Little Hot Stuff and I believe it is owned by George Wagoner from Queensland, Australia. It weighed 1,609 pounds from the factory, once again making it a great candidate for a drag car. In this video you saw Devons, MGs, Cobras, Griffiths, Jaguars, Triumphs, Cheetahs, Austin Healys, Kellisons, Thunderbirds, Hondas, Kit Cars and lots of Corvettes. So I will close with this. For the most part in the 1950s, 60s and even into the 70s Detroit was making big heavy cars. Drag racers who couldn't afford a Corvette, Cobra or Thunderbird and wanted to run a lightweight full-body car had to look to small foreign cars or the vast amount of fiberglass kit cars and bodies that were available in the United States during those years. Please comment below. As always, thanks for watching.